Three Stacks Kitchen, like other restaurants, is taking all the necessary precautions to serve safe takeout orders to locals. Governor Newsom, who signed the new bill yesterday, the Fair Pay to Play Act, says athletes are abused. The PBS program American Masters presents a film on the life of jazz legend Miles Davis. Eastside Riders Bike Club is one of many community groups helping to feed children and families during the coronavirus pandemic. Reporting from Watts, California, I'm Amari Martin, Valley View News. Jay Posey, a.k.a. Stax, runs his own seafood kitchen at PJ's Grill in Carson, California. His family's culinary background stems from Mississippi, and Stax is carrying on the family tradition. The pricing and everything on here is actually a good price if you go to other competitors and see that they portion their food. But we don't. We just throw it on your plate, we pack it up, and we make sure that you know people get full and people get happy. I just got back from a really long trip, and so one of the first things I wanted was Three Stacks Kitchen. During happy hour, every plate is one price. When happy hour is here, it's a full house. Entrees feature your choice of protein, rice, corn, potatoes, and sausage. The most popular item, the salmon and shrimp. I like to just not burn the food, keep it nice looking. The sauce adds all the flavor, so very little seasoning. Try not to make it salty so that people can enjoy the seafood. As a chef, each day consists of prepping, chopping, thawing, sorting the seafood for what the restaurant's daily needs are, and then going from there. Orders can feature crab, lobster, and more. I always order the shrimp and steak. Gumbo. Crab on the side. Chicken. I get my grandma the salmon. Lobster. And the steak on the side. And that's how we go. With the uncertainties of the coronavirus, Three Sex Kitchen, like other restaurants, is taking all the necessary precautions to serve safe takeout orders to locals. Reporting from Carson, California, I'm Amari Martin, Valley View News. Good afternoon. I'm here just helping support Eastside Riders. On the corner of Compton and 103rd in Watts, the grill is hot and people wear masks of several types. They're here to serve hundreds of pancake meals. We have a drive through now. This is the line here. Michael Cummings keeps a close watch. The line is on Compton Avenue all the way to Century. Under one tent, the assembly line begins with mixed spray and careful pouring. The meat sizzles and the music helps. The it's about 4,000 uh, meals a week. John Jones of Eastside Riders Bike Club is in charge. The kids um, was going to be out of school and we thought that it was important that they continue to have a meal. Finished here, the food moves to another tent for distribution. I just wanted to come out and help and, and assist. And they keep pushing. Eight to 10 plates, that's what we take to the car and then everybody moves along. It's because we all are in this together. Eastside Riders Bike Club is one of many community groups helping to feed children and families during the coronavirus pandemic. Reporting from Watts, California, I'm Amari Martin, Valley View News. Joining us today, we have Dr. Steve Silver, staff psychologist and alcohol and drug counselor at CSUN's University Counseling Services, and attorney Lisa Matern of the Matern Law Firm. What are the possible dangers of using it recreationally? You know, the brain isn't fully developed till around 25, 26 years old, um, particularly the frontal cortex, which is planning, executive functioning, thinking through consequences, decision making. Is there a legal difference between consuming CBD and THC? Yes, okay, so uh, CBD is non-psychoactive and THC is psychoactive. So CBD is more like it's derived from hemp, um, and President Trump legalized uh, the cultivation of hemp, so that means CBD is legal. Thank you so much. That's all we sure. have time for today.